Yo, how's it going everybody? I'm going to keep this intro pretty short because I want to get into this. Um, this is going to be part one of the multi-part series for this fantasy style cathedral. Um, obviously it's a big build so I'm not going to be able to fit it into just, uh, you know, one or two videos. Uh, but I'll try to keep it, you know, as quick as possible. Um, trust me guys, this is not that hard. I know it looks intimidating, but this is going to be a block for block tutorial. Uh, with no crazy cuts or anything like that. So I do think you guys can do this. Uh, like I said, it looks intimidating, looks like it's going to be hard, but it's really not. I've put a lot of small detail into this, um, so make sure you guys do try to follow it as best you can. Um, but without further ado, let's get into it. We're going to be starting out with the base of the structure and get some of the pillars going up um, just on this first part. So you're going to start out with one in the middle, and you're going to be adding seven on each side, creating a line of 15 in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I just added seven onto this one right here. I'm gonna go ahead and mark our middle block. Um, so yeah, I just added seven onto the one, and then again, adding seven on this side, creating a line of 15 right there. That's 15 long, it'll be 15 on each side. Next, we're getting layouts for the bigger towers. These are just three by three squares on the end. Again, we just added this 3x3 three three square uh, right onto the end. Do the same thing over here. Just like that. This is your first side. Um, all else will be the same. Next, we're going to be coming on these side sections. You're going to be coming off the diagonal of the corner and going 1, 2, 3, just like so. And you're going to be making a square right off that three. So you went three, and then a square, this two by two. And then you're going to be doing a run of seven off that diagonal. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like that. And then you're going to be doing another two by two square. So it went three, and then another two by two square, and then seven, and then a two by two square. And now three again, just like so. So three, the two by two square, seven, two by two square, and then three. And then here we're coming back with the big pillar, just as we did on the other side. You just come off the diagonal, just as you did earlier. Now this will be a line of 15, just as the other side was. Mark your middle block. And there we go, another line of 15. And we'll just do this all the way around. Adding the big pillar. Coming off three. Again, three, the square, seven, three, or the square, and then three. Like I said guys, I'm not really going to be cutting out a lot of this grunt work because I want you guys to be able to follow along exactly um, and see exactly what I'm doing. Um, Trying to make this as followable as possible. Again, all these centers should be lining up. And there we are. This is the base of our structure, the main structure. If you want to take a good look at this, this is what you should have. Again, we have lines of 15, the 3x3 three three square, 3 blocks long, 2x2 two two square, 7 blocks long, another 2x2 two two square, 
three long, and then it just repeats all the way around. Just like so. Alright guys, once you have that all caught up, we're going to be coming in and doing the towers. Now these towers are going to be made out of stone brick, and on the big towers you'll be using some stone brick walls on the corners. So on these small ones, you're going to want to add 52 on top of this, what we already have, so there'll be 53 blocks tall in total. So I just added 52 on top of the layer we already had, making this 53 in total. And that will go for all of these 2x2 two two squares that will all need to be 53 in total tall. As far as these big ones, they are going to be one block taller, coming in at 54. Um, and the way they need to come up is just like so. Actually, go ahead and leave this bottom layer too tall. So it will be two like this at the bottom. But then after that, you come in with the corners, uh, with the walls at the corners. And the rest of it will go up like that completely. Um, and again, this one will need to be 54 in total, counting, you know, this entire thing. It will be one block taller than those. So if this one, whatever level is this one at, this one's at 57, this one will need to be at 58. Just like so. And again, on these corners, you are using the stone brick walls on all the corners the entire way up, okay? And I'm going to, I'm going to cut this part out just because this is, you know, grunt work. And I'll get back with you guys uh, once we have all of these raised. Again, these are 53 in total, and these are 54 in total. Alrighty, guys, now that you have your pillars up, we're going to be doing these sidewall sections. Um, as you can see, I've already done them here, and now I'm just going to be doing this back on this side. Going to be coming in with your normal diorite wall. It's going to go diorite wall, stone brick, layers of diorite, stone brick, and the diorite wall. And this is going to come up seven tall. So we're adding six on this. Making that seven, again here. These will all be seven tall. And then doing this again over on this side. Just like so. We're just getting these foundation bits right here, as you can see. And same here on this side. On the diagonals here, going to be coming up seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just like so. And then adding one on top. Adding the one on top, doing this all the way across. These should all be lining up with each other. Making this seven, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Just like so. And we'll go ahead and do this on the other diagonal as well. Again, seven high, first layer, second layer, third layer, fourth layer, fifth layer, sixth layer. And seventh, and then a layer of the stone brick. It's going around doing this on all the sides. Got 
guys once I have this all the way around I will come back with you I'm just gonna cut it out because this is pretty simple um, and I have no doubt you guys will be doing all right guys lower level uh, base walls we're going to be coming in and focusing on the flat sides instead of the diagonals we're going to want to add 31 on top of the seven you already have again we're adding 31 on top of the seven making 38 in total Okay, so we're adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31 in total. Then we're going to run a line of stone brick across the top and bring it down this side. And that's making 38 in total. We added 31 on top of the 7 we already had. And we're going to be going around doing this on all sides. Just adding those extra 31 on the sides and then creating the line at the top. This happens to be at 44. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and build all these up. And I will get back with you once we have that this done on all four sides we're going to be coming in and working on the frame you're going to want to come in the middle of this that you just did and add six so we're adding three and then three there make sure you are in the middle and we are so you're adding six in the middle just like so and you want to come in and add four just like this on each side so six and then four on each side then we're coming in and adding two just like so these are all attached there's no uh, floating blocks um, as far as the frame goes then after that we're just gonna come in and do two more at the bottom just like this and we're gonna connect these all the way these are gonna be connected all the way to the ground or to this layer right here. Again, we are doing this inner frame, and then we will do this uh, outer layer as well. If you want to go ahead and run a bead here at the bottom of stone brick just all the way across just like that and again on this side we're coming in and adding one below it and one beside it and then coming in and bringing these all the way to the bottom just like that we're going to come in here at these open sections and we're going to fill them in with the diorite walls. Alright guys, next we're going to be coming in with stone brick stairs as well as slabs. Coming in, adding stairs here and here and there and there. Leaving this open, not adding anything there. We're going to come down to this level and run a bead of slabs all the way across, just like that. Again, it's on the bottom half of this layer here, just like so. Alright guys, once you've gotten the slabs as well as these stairs there, we're going to be coming in and doing the outer frame, um, which actually looks like this when it's completed that one over there is only half done um, this is what the full outer frame looks like so you're going to be doing that now you're going to want to come here on the outside block and add a slab there and a slab there leaving this one black gap open and this is going to be 25 counting this so 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we added 24 on top of this double slab, making it to 25 in total. Doing the same thing on the other side, just like this. After that, we're going to add one here, as well as a upside down stair, just like so. Adding another one on top, and an upside down stair. Next, we're going to add two pieces of stone brick and a slab on the back of that, repeating it on the other side, just like so. Then adding a stone brick stair, just like that. Then a piece of stone brick, and then another stone brick stair. So that one stone brick stair, upside down, should be hanging off a little bit, just like so. After that, we add a slab, a block, and another upside down stair. So slab, block, another upside down stair, just like that. After that, we add another slab on top of the block, yeah. making it a full block gap there. And then we add two blocks and an upside down stair, just like so, giving a one block gap in the middle. Then we add a slab here and here and then add three full blocks. And that is your outer frame for the giant window. Okay, so we had the 25 that we started with. We added one on top of it with the upside down stair. Added two blocks on top of that with the slab coming out. On top of that, we went up, uh, right side up stair and then a block and then an upside down stair then we added a slab on top of that with a block and an upside down stair. And then we added a, another slab, two blocks, upside down stair. And then we added a slab, three blocks. And obviously it's just all uh, repetition back on the other side. Once that's done, you want to grab your black stained glass as well as your end rods. This black stained glass is actually going to be inset one. So it's not going to be in the actual frame itself. That'll make room for our uh, end rods once we do the end rod design. So this is going to be inset one and we're going to be using black glass blocks, not the, uh, not the panes. Make sure you remember that um, because panes don't fit well um, and they look kind of weird when you attach uh, end rods to them in certain places. So definitely make sure you're using the black stained glass. I know if you're building this in survival, you need a lot of black stained glass for this build. Um, so definitely have to grind those ink sacks and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's going to be filling this in all the way to the top. Make sure you're filling in everything that can be seen from the outside. You can use as little as possible if you're trying to save glass. Just like so. Got that done, we're going to be coming in with our end rods. We're going to be starting on the outsides, and skipping one space. Just like so. So we started on this corner, skip to space, end rod, skip to space, end rod, skip to space, end rod, and you know. And then we're going to be bringing these all the way to the top. Just like that. Some of these will end up on stairs, um, but it's fine. You know, you won't really tell in the grand scheme of things um, that they're not really connecting fully. Like this one, it's pretty much connected. It's just uh, partially not. Bringing up this middle one. This will also need a bunch of in rods if you're doing this in survival. Um, so definitely probably enough to grind for that.
bringing up all of these just like so just like that and then you want to come in here and we have this little space at the top we're going to place one there as well as place one there then we're going to skip three spaces one two three we're going to start attaching here again we skipped three spaces make sure you're going from the outside in that way the in rods are facing inwards we're going to be doing this all the way down staying at a pace of skipping three each time three um like glass blocks each time so again coming from this one right here we're skipping one two three and then placing our in rods place two and then switch around and place the other two to keep them all direction like inside come back skip another three place two flip around place two skip one two three more place two place two skip one two three more place two place another two skip one two three more place two place another two and that should leave you with a three gap at the bottom and just leave that open and there we go guys we have the first section of our window just like so Make sure you guys do this and copy it around on all four of the flat sides. And that is going to do it for the first part of this tutorial. I don't want to make it too long. So uh, keep it out for part two. We'll be doing the top parts here um, as well as doing the first parts of uh, these diagonal sides. So all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.